Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam, aka The Thrifty Daisy. If you are already subscribed to me, thank you first and foremost, but today is going to be a bit of a different video. If you are not subscribed to me, I normally post thrift hauls, unboxing, stuff like that. This is going to be more of still an unboxing video, but more beauty products and self-care. I have started my Christmas shopping early this year, which I think is the first time that's ever happened. And so I am going to share a bunch of Christmas gifts with you, plus a few things that I have picked up for myself. Before we get into the video, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get started. I did pick up a few products from the Sephora sale. So that is going to be included in this. I do have one more order that is coming that has not been delivered yet. So I will film another video when that gets here. I also picked up a few things from Lush.com. I am never close enough to a Lush store anymore to go in and get products, so I decided to do a little bit of online shopping. And then in this bag, I picked up some stuff from Home Goods that I'm excited to share with you. So let's just get started. So I think I'm going to open up the Lush products first because this box came in out of all of the online shopping orders. This box came in first. and. You can smell the products from outside of the box. It smells delicious. So let's get this one opened. Here is what it looks like. It smells so good. Hopefully nothing in here needed to be refrigerated because that definitely did not happen. So one of the first things that I actually got for myself as like a treat myself gift is the Lush American Cream Conditioner. This conditioner smells so good. It says that it's scented with creamy strawberry vanilla. And I don't know if I pick up on the strawberries really, but the vanilla scent for sure. And I am really excited to have this back in my shower. The next thing that's in here is a little mini version of the big shampoo. This shampoo feels so good on your scalp. For the directions, it says to apply a small amount to the hair, work into a lather, and then rinse thoroughly. I like to really use this at my roots because it has mineral-rich sea salt, which cleanses your hair and scalp without stripping their natural oils. So this stuff is amazing. It really just makes your scalp feel like it's really had a deep cleanse, and it kind of reminds me of the beach. Hopefully I don't have family members watching because I picked up two others that are going to be gifts. The next thing that I'm grabbing has sparkles on it. And I'm pretty surprised that this is in there like that. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna grab that one yet because it's near the bottom and I am literally getting sparkles all over me. So I'm gonna try to grab whatever I can grab next, which I think is another thing with sparkles. So this is their bath bomb that looks like a peach. It smells peachy. It just smells so clean. I don't know the name of this. Let me see. This is their peachy bath bomb. It has fresh peach juice in it. It just smells so good. I can't remember exactly what this is reminding me of, but other than peaches, but it has a very like familiar smell and it's full of sparkles. Okay, the next thing I'm grabbing is wrapped. I was worried that this was not going to be wrapped. I think I would need to unwrap this to really smell what this is, but this is their Christmas Cranberry Soap. This is actually going to be a gift for someone in my family, so I don't want to unwrap it and really smell it, but hopefully it smells delicious. Okay, the next thing that I'm grabbing is another bath bomb. This one is so pretty. I just got it for the season and also because it had really good reviews. This is their Snowdrift bath bomb. 
It looks like this one has ingredients of eucalyptus oil, lemongrass oil, and peppermint oil. I can definitely smell the lemon. The mint must be like deeper in here because I'm not getting any hints of mint. But yeah, it's a really pretty bath bomb. I'm really excited to use this one. Okay, there's only one thing left in this Lush box and it is the very sparkly thing. Also something that I picked up for the season, it is their frozen reusable bubble bar. I'm not sure what it means by reusable. Normally with the bubble bars, I cut these in half, crumble a little bit underneath the water. This is super pretty. It looks like the main ingredient of this one is spearmint oil, which you can definitely smell. That's like all I'm picking up from this, which kind of makes sense because that's all I'm really seeing in the ingredients other than like citric acid and sea salt. So that is it for my Lush products. I have sparkles all over me. Okay, so moving on to the next thing that I picked up for myself is just a makeup organizer. And this is something that I have needed because the one that I currently have is not even half the size and can't really fit much in it. So I decided it was time to upgrade. Next, we will start with the first Sephora order. This is actually something that I picked up for myself and I picked it up because there were a bunch of products in the Sephora sale that I wanted to try, but I did not want to grab the full size. You will see in the other purchase that comes in, I did pick up a few mini sets. But anyways, we'll talk about that when they get here. So I did pick up this for myself. This is the Sephora Favorites Holiday Must Haves and it has their everyday best sellers. I don't know about that. I am really excited for more than half the products in this, so let's just jump into it. And just so you are aware, this comes with four full-size products, so you really can't beat that for the value. It was $58, and it is said to be worth $184. I am actually a fan of the little pouch that everything comes in. I do like pink and gold. And this could honestly be used as a toiletry bag for traveling. Here is what it looks like. This is something that I've actually tried before and it is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I actually don't use a lot of dry shampoos or really ever, so it's really nice to have a mini size. I will hold on to this for probably six months to a year and not run out of it. I think I might be most excited about this product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And right now, I currently use from the drugstore the NYX setting spray, which does the trick for me, but I have been trying to find something that's more higher end. My all-time favorite setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, and I might have a few of those coming. But anyways, I've heard a lot of great things about this setting spray, so I'm really excited to use it. These I'm not so sure about. I am going to try them, of course, but they are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. It says it's a two-step peel with seven AHAs and BHAs. It helps smooth fine lines, minimize the look of pores, improve the appearance of uneven tone and texture, and apparently you can achieve clinical results at home. So I'm going to go ahead and just try these out. There's five treatments in here. I don't know if that's really enough to see if these do anything, but it is enough to see if they burn your face or if you have an allergic reaction and if you want to go buy more, I guess. You cannot be a full-size beauty blender. The full-size beauty blender itself, I think, is like $22. So with this being a $58 purchase, the beauty blender almost makes up for half of the bag. So this is actually a really great purchase in my opinion, especially if you are just starting out or if you are needing to replenish some of your daily makeup products. I think that Sephora did really good with this bag. So this product is actually new to me. I have been seeing a lot about it, but most of the reviews 
are kind of hit and miss. Some people said it's just like a fancy cleanser and that's what it is. It is a superfood cleanser. It's by Youth to the People and it's their Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. It is in a glass bottle, so I like that, but it kind of makes me nervous. So I'll try this out and let you guys know what I think about it. This is something that I actually have never used before as well, and this is the original makeup eraser. Makeup eraser? I guess that's what it is. Um, and it looks like it's just like this sheet. So I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, but it looks like it's the, this sheet that you are able to just wipe on your face. It says that you can erase all makeup with just water. The reviews on this product actually were very good. So maybe it does do exactly what it says. Up next, we have the Kat Von D Tattoo Pencil Liner. And this is in Trooper Black 10. I don't use a lot of liners, but this one did have very good reviews. This product I have not tried before, and I am really excited to try it because it is the Milk Makeup Cream Blush. And I actually don't use cream blushes, but I am going to try some more cream blushes. So this is in the color Work, and it actually is for the lip and cheek. This I wish I would have known about before I actually made this purchase because I got this as a free gift in one of my other purchases and then I got another mascara as a free gift in another purchase. So I, I'm a sucker for mascara. I will try all the mascaras. This is the Fenty Beauty Mascara. It is called the Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara and I wanted to see what the wand looked like. But I am apparently going to have a few of these in my collection, so I don't know if I'm going to maybe add them in as stocking stuffers or what. It does make a good stocking stuffer. This is another product that I actually have never used before that I am really excited to use. I could not bring myself to purchase the full-size product because of the price and the reviews were also hit and miss. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. And it is said to be plumping, smoothing, and nourishing. It is in the color Velvet. I'm not a fan of the sticky lip feeling. As you can see, I like matte lip colors, but I'm trying to venture out more. And the last product that is in here, which I am also very excited about, this is the Huda Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It might be Huda Beauty, but I think it's Huda Beauty. I'm not sure, so don't come for me. But this is the Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and this is in Banana Bread. This is more of their yellow tone. I think this tone works for a lot of people. I do have my eye on another shade, but I'm gonna test this out. I actually don't bake my face and that's something I want to learn more how to do in 2024. Also kind of has instructions on the bottom so that's really neat especially for people like me who have not really baked their face before. Kind of teaches you on the box and this is the perfect travel size. So that is all the products that were in here. And this I cannot talk too loudly about because it is for someone who is currently in my living room right now. So I'm just going to show you a close up. Okay, we've got one more box from Sephora that I'm gonna go through. I think most of these products are gifts for people. So hopefully none of you guys are watching. This is actually going to be a stocking stuffer. I love these, especially because these are the sheer healing dots. So you can wear them during the day and then you can put makeup on them. I normally just wear them and then don't put any makeup on them, but whatever makes you feel best. And I thought that these just would make a really great stocking stuffer. This I actually picked up 
for myself to try, but because I want to gift it to someone and I don't want it to be a waste or something that they may not like. And we have similar tastes. So I think that this was $20 for the set. And it is the 5 Minute Facial by Tata Harper. I might not be saying that right. It is the Mega Watt Glow Set that comes with the Regenerating Cleanser and then the Resurfacing Mask. The reviews on this product made it seem like you have a new skin after using this product. So I kind of wanted to try it for myself. But like I said, I wanted to make sure that it does what it says before I buy it for someone else. This is actually a sample of the perfume that I picked out. I think I got this with my points, if I remember correctly. This little sample bottle looks like it is only half full, but this is the YSL Black Opium Perfume. I have never smelled this before, so I am going to probably try it out tomorrow and report back to you guys. It is already time for dinner and I don't really wanna be smelling like a bunch of stuff, especially after I opened that Lush package. So I'm going to have to report back to you guys about this. This was also part of the samples or like the points. I think this was the samples. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I made a bunch of purchases. So this is the Tom Ford Cherry Smoke um, sample perfume spray. I had never smelled this or any Tom Ford perfumes before. I like this perfume. I think it smells really nice, but I think it's a little bit of too much of a mature smelling perfume for me. I actually think that my mom would really like this, so I might just throw it in her stocking. This is something else that I got for someone's stocking. It's this brand. I can't remember the name of this brand, and I don't think there's a receipt in my Sephora box. So. Anyways, this is their strawberry lip balm. It actually sounds really nice. And for someone who doesn't really like to wear lipstick or a lot of color on their lips, I thought that this would be a great option. So like I said, I actually got this as a sample and it is the Fenty Beauty, another one of their hella thick mascaras. So now I have two, and since this one came in the package, I might throw this one in as the stocking stuffer. Yeah, so the one that comes in the Sephora Holiday Must Haves is also the same one that is included as like a sample. So keep that in mind if you're going through your sample products. If you really like this mascara, then you can get a bunch of them, but it does come in that and you don't have to worry about picking it out unless you want more mascaras. This is actually something that I got for a man in my family and it is the Lip Service by Jack Black um, Natural Mint and Shea Butter like Lip Balm Duo. This is a set. They have a bunch of sets. So if you have any men in your family or any men in your friends group or any men in general that you don't know what to get them or anything for like their stockings. This brand has a bunch of sets right now at Sephora and probably elsewhere that are perfect gift sets. And the last thing that is in my Sephora box are these adorable poppers. I have only experienced poppers during the holidays um, with one of my aunts. She kind of introduced them to my family. Maybe they were a tradition back then in their family, I'm not sure, but the last couple of years she has introduced them into my family and they are so much fun. This is actually a different kind of popper. The kinds that she brings in have these little like games and treats and stuff inside of them. This is a self-care popper set. I already know which one I'm going to give to my mom, but this is by this brand that I cannot say, so I'm just going to show you guys. And it has four different sets. Perfect stocking stuffer. You don't even have to wrap them because they look like that. They are adorable. Like I, I cannot get over these. I'm excited to get this. And last but not least, first of all, 
Look at this bag that I just picked up from Home Goods. I love this bag. I might have to go get another one because as I was looking at it, it is a perfect little stocking stuffer, like folded up and put into someone's stocking for someone that I have in mind right now. But I definitely want to keep this in my collection. So I'm a big fan of the TJ Maxx bags and the Home Goods bags. And if you guys ever see any that are like Daisy related or anything like that, just let me know. So everything in this bag except one thing are candles. I will show you the one thing that is not a candle. And it was the only thing that stood out to me in the makeup section of... TJ Maxx and it is an Urban Decay palette. I actually have not heard anything about this palette so it may not be too great of a palette. We will see but I am needing to expire my Urban Decay naked palettes. That makes me so sad to say but they are way overdue past their expiration date. So I'm just trying to add a new palette here or there when I see one and because this was from Urban Decay, I started taking a look at it. I love the packaging. It is called their Wild Greens palette. It has 12 wildly pigmented shades from earthy neutrals to lush wild greens. This palette was $10 at TJ Maxx. There are the shades. And I did take the palette out when I was in the store because everyone else does. No, I'm just kidding. Do not destroy the makeup in TJ Maxx. Like that just irks me so much when you go to look at products and people have been like testing the products and it's just a disaster. Like, is it just my TJ Maxx or is everyone's makeup section like a complete disaster? Anyway, look at this palette. It is beautiful. Like, I just, I can't get over it. Look at how it opens. Like, that is stunning, first of all. Like I said, I have not heard anything about this palette, but the colors are beautiful. Either way, I'm a fan of Urban Decay. It will probably always be part of my collection whether it's their setting spray or their eyeshadow primer or their palettes. So I am very excited to add this into my collection. I'm going to try to do a look sometime this week with this. If you guys want me to film a getting ready makeup video, let me know. Okay, so for those who don't know, my all-time favorite candles are from Aldi's. They are $5. I think they're $4.99 to be exact but I love them. They are the Huntington Home Candles. The vanilla candle is my favorite one, but the fall candles had some really nice scents and I haven't really been able to find anything for Christmas. They do sell out really fast when they have them. So I had to go ahead and restock on some of my candles. This is one of my other favorite brand of candles and it is the DW Home Candle Collection. Now this one is the Garden Mint and Verbena. It is supposed to smell lively, cool, and gentle. This candle smells exactly the way it sounds, but it is a beautiful candle. I think it would look really nice in a bathroom, and maybe that's where it needs to be in a smaller space to kind of hold the scent in. I have this in my kitchen. Might have been too big of a space. I'm not sure. This is another brand of candles that I love. It is the Sand and Fog candles. They have a lot that help neutralize pet odors. So if that is something you are needing, look up this brand. This is a Christmas candle, or at least the lid that ended up on here is a Christmas lid. It is the Blue Eucalyptus and Fur. It smells like the beach mixed with Christmas, which it smells so good. Highly recommend this one. The next candle I got because I was craving my vanilla Aldi's candles. This is by DW Home. It is a wooden wick candle and it is a vanilla cream. It smells so good, like as if someone is baking a vanilla pie in your oven. I don't even know if vanilla pies exist. I'm not much of a pie girl, but this smells so good. I will probably start burning this tomorrow in my office and I'm not sure if it's gonna last through the week. 
I did go in there with fall in mind. So I was trying to find some fall themed candles and I ran into this one, which is also by DW Home. It is the vanilla apple candle. I love the DW Home fall line. Like if I had to pick any candle scents from DW Home, it would be their fall candles, but specifically ones that are in the red glass, not all of them. There are some Christmas scents that I was smelling yesterday that were just not it for me, but this one is definitely it for me. Oh, it smells so good. It is the vanilla apple, and that is exactly what it smells like, vanilla mixed with apples. All right, and to get rid of all of these pie scents in the kitchen, I did pick up Clean Kitchen by DW Home. This one just smells like lemons in the clean kitchen but if someone was cutting lemons in your kitchen for hours and it is a wooden wick so it is going to have that really nice crackly sound and the very last candle that i picked up i probably should not have gotten this because it is more of like a spring candle but it just smelled so good i could not resist myself and it is the dw home sunday mimosa it is fruity sweet and bubbly it just smells so good. It literally just like is like a Sunday morning, a fresh spring Sunday morning, but also kind of beachy. So in case you can't tell, I love the beachy vanilla fall scents in case anyone wants to keep an eye out for some DW home candles for me. <laughs> so that is it for today's haul. I know it was a bit of a long one and I know it was a bit different than what you guys are used to seeing if you have been subscribed to me for some time. If you are not subscribed to me and you did like this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I am going to have a bunch of more videos like this coming up for you, especially going into 2024. I am just trying to I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I have some changes coming. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.